Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto and in this presentation I will introduce you flow control instructions with Facilino. So this is the outline of the presentation. First I will present uh, the material that we use for this presentation and then I will uh, present you or uh, explain you about the instructions that we will work with. At the end of the presentation I will introduce you three different examples, one working uh, or simulating a hysteresis uh, effect, another one in which we will wait until a condition and then uh, repeat a set of things and break uh, uh, this, uh, this repetitive loop and then in the end I, I will show you an alarm effect with the buzzer uh, which is uh, using uh, uh, a loop. So, uh, in this presentation uh, we will uh, work with the board as usual, the Wemos D1R32 board and also we will work with the Arduino multi-sensor shield. Uh, so these are the main instructions that uh, we will work with in this presentation. The first one it's an if instruction, this instruction allows me to make a decision. So if something is true then I will execute all the instructions that I put here uh, in this uh, statement input. And then uh, if not this instruction allows me to implement else if cases means that I, I can evaluate other conditions and at the end I can also evaluate an else condition when nothing before uh, it's true then I can evaluate the else condition too. This instruction has a mutator this means that we can add as many cases as we want just by simply clicking here it will appear this uh, pop-up window here and we can add up as many as we want here and we just simply need to close it and then the instruction aspect will be modified. This second instruction it's an uh, instruction in which we wait uh, until two values are equal or uh, different or so on so it's a wait, con wait condition uh, instruction in this instruction here we will just simply wait for uh, some milliseconds. We actually have seen this instruction in our previous examples. Um, this instruction here it's used to break a specific loop. It works for for loops but also for while loops too. And this is an instruction in we uh, perform a while. So whenever this is true, whenever our input is evaluated and true then we will execute and do the instructions that we uh, put here. So additionally uh, in this presentation uh, I will just simply uh, use an bus, uh, advanced buzzer instruction in which we will generate a, a tone with a varying frequency as you will see. So in this uh, first example I will emulate uh, a hysteresis uh, um, uh, property that uh, we can use for instance as, uh, to regulate the temperature of our room. So as you know whenever we want to turn on or off let's say a heater we can use uh, a potentiometer to set the level of temperature that we want but if we don't implement this hysteresis effect then the temperature could be varying between the, the reference that you're uh, putting and this is not good specifically if you're using a relay. So that's why we use uh, in most of our uh, temperature control systems like a thermostat and uh, this is just simply doing, uh, what, what it's doing is just simply uh, uh, declaring a state variable which uh, I, I need to know if I'm uh, on one state or another so then if the value is above the uh, 2000 the, and the state uh, it's uh, uh, in this case uh, true then I will set the uh, uh, sorry it's false, the state is false, then in this case I will turn on the LED uh, connected to pin D12 and then I will set the state value to true, okay? And then else if, if the value that I read on the potentiometer is below 800 and the state is uh, true then I will set uh, the value uh, to low, the, the pin uh, of the LED to low and then set the state to uh, false. Otherwise the state uh, won't be changed and the LED won't change too. So whenever we're in the middle between 800 and 2000 then depends if we come from, uh, from, the le uh, from let's say for uh, low values or from higher values. 
and that's the hysteresis effect. Then in this second example, what we're doing is we're waiting at the beginning here in the, in the loop of Arduino, we're waiting until we push a button. So we use these instructions, they are very handy whenever we want to wait until we press a button to start our program, for instance. So we have to wait until the, the, the button or the value we read is low and then we implement here a loop in which we are just simply doing a blink with the uh, LED connected to pin D12 and uh, in this, uh, this will stop blinking whenever we push the other button, the, uh, the, the, the button in, uh, connected to pin D3, okay? So this will, uh, when this condition is true, then we will break the loop, this particular loop, the while loop. And then finally, here in this example, what I'm doing is an al alarm effect. Uh, basically what I'm doing is uh, uh, generating a variable frequency, it starts with this value here, and then I'm in a while loop, I'm just simply waiting for the condition, it's, uh, meanwhile it's uh, below this other value, then I will just uh, generate a sound. And on each iteration I'm incrementing 3% of the, of, the, um, of the previous frequency, so it's an increase in frequency, and uh, then I do the same thing, but I have different waiting conditions, and as you will see, this is generating uh, a kind of alarm effect as you will see later. Okay, so in this presentation I have introduced you how to use flow control instructions with Facilino. Thank you very much.